Of all the boys I've known and I've known some Before I first met you I was lonesome But then you came and sat and my heart grew alive in this whole Hi! Today's video is going to be a little bit of a haul video because I've been shopping. And I got my little bunny Kiwi here. He is a green cheek cunner. And he's going to be with me while I talk about shopping. So I had the opportunity to go to an antique mall recently. Um, this is the antique mall. It's in uh, Fairfield, Ohio. And it is right down the street from Jungle Gyms. So if you've ever been to Jungle Gyms, it is really close to there. So I got a couple of things. The first thing I got was this red and navy blue purse and you see in here it's a Miss America purse in there so got the tag and I like this purse that was in really good condition it was navy I don't have any navy purses um, and I have a lot of really cute navy hats so I need a purse to go with my hats and red you can't go wrong with navy and red. And I also like that it was still, it was fairly large for a vintage purse. Because I'm a big purse girl and I carry lots of crap and I need space to put all my crap. Um, that I think was $25. And then I also purchased this little 50s hat. It's got all these little flowers on them and they're kind of a soft, dusty, pinky, mauve-ish color. And then... It's edged with a little bit of green velvet. There's no label or tag in here anywhere. So I'm not sure what brand it is, but I got that and it looks so cute with my little pixie bangs. So excited. This one was $11. Um, I've been there a couple years ago and they had a much better selection of hats the last time I went than this time. This time there's a lot more 60s and 70s hats. It's the first time there's 50 hats uh, exploding everywhere. Actually, I'll leave a link down in the description. I'll show you what I got last time. I actually got a ton of stuff last time I was there. And the last thing I got were some buttons. I got these little buttons. Black buttons. A whole bunch of matching ones. And I also purchased some yellow buttons. They also had uh, tons of cute furniture um, as well as a lot, a lot of vintage um, like dishes and uh, cooking pots. Well, not pots and pans, but like the uh, casserole dishes and stuff. But uh, we are moving to Florida, and I did not want to take all that stuff with me, so I didn't end up buying any of that. All right, so the next thing that I did is I went to Sephora. And I got a lovely bag of stuff from Sephora. So the first thing I got was my birthday gift which was from Makeup Forever and it has uh, their Smoky Extravagant Mascara and the Rouge Artist Lipstick in Natural and Nine. It's there. And I also had racked up enough points for a 500 point prize and they had this pack from NARS which includes a blush and an eyeliner and a lip. Yes, yeah, a blush, larger than life, long wear eyeliner, um, a satin lip pencil, and it says Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. So that's what's in this box from NARS. And I also picked up some of my Kat Von D tattoo liner because I actually just ran out in the morning before I went there so it was perfect because I cannot live without my eyeliner. Um, and I got some Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. This is their original color that I thought I would try out because I've heard fabulous, fabulous things about Urban Decay. And the last thing I got is a Tarte palette. This is their Golden Days Sultry Night palette. It's their, I guess, their summer palette. 
and I'll show you. These are the colors that come in there, and I actually have a couple of these on my face right now. This one in the middle, and then this other bronzy one. This on my, my eyes, and the uh, lighter, the, the kind of whitish color, that one is also on my eyes. So, expect to see some makeup tutorials slash reviews in the future for these products. And that's what I got in my haul. Thanks for watching. Of all the boys I've known and I've known some, before I first met you I was lonesome, but then you came and sat in the